Hello YouTube. Well, I retired that old clunky rivet forge that I modified to have a fire pot and made myself a much better one. Uh, just run through some of the things I did to make this one. First of all, I made the fire pot here. It's about nine by nine, um, about four inches deep. Got a clinker breaker in there so I can break up clinkers. Um, operated under here. And an ash dump operated by the foot. And a air blower, um, squirrel cage blower operated with this switch here on and off and I can adjust the airflow quite a bit. But next thing I did was uh, I made this this hood here to try to extract all the smoke that was being made from the coal and it was annoying with the burnt out rusted redneck hood I was using before. So uh, as well as this here plywood that'll help protect my tarp and keep some of the heat away from that so it doesn't uh, stretch or melt. My brother helped me a lot with this project. He helped me figure this out um, as well as hooked up all the electrical here. I fabricated all of this at my job um, from scrap and uh, just used my lunch hours um, building this. Clearly, nothing else works. Just throwing in the, uh, the cold coke now. This will start easier than just raw coal. This coal is very, very wet. It got rained on, unfortunately. Crap. Crappity, crappity crap. Crap. Is it working? I think it's working. Oh man, it's working like a champ. It's only on like a quarter of the air flow. This is about half. That's full. Takes a little bit for it to get up to speed. So that's that's blowing more than enough for forge welding. Which is what I want to try today with this thing. Test it out to its full capacity. Well, I've got here some uh, some cable. It's got about about a tenth of an inch diameter uh, strands. Um, this is actually from a much larger piece of the cable. It's the inner strand and I want to see how it forge welds. It's right full of grease though, so I know I'm going to have to burn some of that off before I 
flux it and weld it. First order of business, you don't want to heat it up too fast because as you can see there, the core strand is not as hot as the strands outside of it. That's okay, right now I'm just going to flux it. Be pretty liberal with the uh, flux here. Take it back in the forge, heat it up to welding heat, and um, weld up that end. Turning up the airflow, water fire. Wait till I see some sparks flying out of the fire. Alright, I'm seeing sparks. Alright, well it's definitely more solid, but I didn't feel it really stick together, so it's together enough that I can do a pretty confident um, heavy welding heat on that end. Alright, there's one end welded up completely. Time for the other. There we go. That's the way. Alrighty. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna heat all this up, see if um, the forge can uh, make it heat that long and then twist it tight in the vise. So what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to direct the fire out in two directions. Possibly diagonally like that. Load that up. On. And we're gonna get some coal, just layer it around the sides, like so, creating creating a couple of walls. Like that. Right. Well, it didn't work perfectly. I had to turn it around once, but considering that worked pretty well. Otherwise, I've had to use the gas forge. So we'll just give it a grand old tighten. Try not to overdo it. That that looks about right. Had a bit of a mishap in the fire right there, it got too hot. The only issue that's going to cause is with the pattern, so I'm not unduly worried about that. So we'll stick it back in the fire and weld it all up. It was going so well too. Yeah, I like it. I like how it's working. Really happy with it. I'll uh, just get the rest of this welded up. All right, well there we are. I was able to weld this up, no problem. This forge works great. I'm really uh, pleased with it. I'm really pleased with how it's performed so far. And now, uh, thanks for watching.